Welcome to how to calculate your cumulative grade point average. If you've ever wondered what a grade point average is and how to calculate it, then this podcast is for you. My name is Ashley, and I'm an academic advisor in University One. Together, we will review how to calculate your cumulative grade point average and work through an example calculation together. All the courses you complete at the University of Manitoba will be assigned a final grade. This final grade will be a letter grade based on your performance in the course. Letter grades are determined by your instructor or department's grading scale. This means that the mark you will need to obtain certain letter grades may vary depending on the course. You will be given a grading scale in your course syllabus at the beginning of each course. Together, all final grades of your courses will be used to determine your cumulative grade point average, which is commonly referred to as your cumulative GPA. Although Aurora student calculates your cumulative GPA automatically, understanding how to calculate it is an important skill to add to your academic toolbox. Once you've completed some courses, it is a good idea to assess yourself to determine if you're achieving the grades that you set out to achieve and to set some goals for future courses. It's also important to be aware of your cumulative GPA as University One will use this GPA when determining your academic assessment. Now let's discuss how to calculate your cumulative GPA and run through an example. Calculating your GPA is a four-step process. The first step in calculating your GPA is to assign grade points to each of your letter grades. The University of Manitoba works on a 4.5 scale, and each letter grade from F to A plus is given a numerical value, which is commonly referred to as a grade point. If you receive a grade of A plus in a course, you will receive 4.5 grade points. A's receive 4, while B pluses and B's receive 3.5 and 3 respectively. If you receive a C plus in a course, the grade point you would be assigned would be a 2.5, and a grade of C is assigned a grade point of 2. D's are worth 1 grade point, and F's are assigned a grade point value of 0. Voluntary withdrawals do not count in your grade point average, and therefore are not assigned any grade point value. Once you have determined the grade point value for each course, the next step is to determine the quality points. Quality points for individual courses are determined by multiplying the credit hour value, also referred to as GPA hours, of a course by the grade points earned in that course. For example, if you receive a grade of B plus in a 6 credit hour course, you would receive 3.5 grade points for it. To determine the quality points, you would multiply 3.5 grade points by six GPA hours for a total of 21 quality points. Once you've calculated the quality points for each course, the third step in calculating your GPA is to add them together to get the total. The fourth and final step in calculating your cumulative GPA is to take the total quality points and divide by the total GPA hours. The answer is your cumulative grade point average. Remember, if you've repeated a course, only the most recent attempt is included in your GPA hour total and the quality point total. Now that we reviewed how to calculate your cumulative GPA, we'll work through an example together. Let's say you've taken four courses and received the following final grades. You've completed Principles of Economics, Economics 1200, with a grade of C+. This is a six credit hour or GPA hour course. You've also taken Applied and Finite Math, Math 1010, with a grade of B+. This is a 3 credit hour or GPA hour course. You received a grade of D in Introduction to Psychology, Psych 1200. Psych 1200 is a 6 credit hour or GPA hour course. And in your final course, University 1 Chemistry, Structure and Modeling in Chemistry, Chemistry 1300, you received a grade of A. Chemistry 1300 is a 3 credit hour or GPA hour course. In total, you've taken 18 credit hours or GPA hours. The first step in calculating your cumulative GPA is to assign grade points to each of your letter grades. You received a grade of C plus in economics, so your assigned grade point for this course is 2.5. Assign a grade point of 3.5 for your grade of B plus in Math 1010. You received a grade of D in Psychology 1200, so your assigned grade point for this course is a 1. And finally, assign a grade point of 4.0 for your grade in, of A in your chemistry course. Now that you have assigned your grade points, you will need to determine the quality points for each course. And you do this by multiplying GPA hours by grade points. 
In Economics 1200, 2.5 grade points are multiplied by 6 GPA hours to total 15 quality points. In Math 1010, your 3.5 grade points are multiplied by 3 GPA hours to total 10.5 quality points. One grade point is multiplied by 6 GPA hours to total 6 quality points in Psych 1200. And 4 grade points are multiplied by 3 GPA hours for 12 quality points in Chemistry 1300. Now you need to add up all your quality points from your four courses, 15 from Economics 1200, 10.5 from Math 1010, 6 from Psych 1200, and 12 from Chemistry 1300. This equals a total of 43.5 quality points. Now you're ready to calculate your cumulative GPA. To do this, divide your quality points of 43.5 by the total GPA hours of 18. Your cumulative GPA is 2.42. It is important to note what we had just reviewed is a calculation of your cumulative GPA and that some faculties use an adjusted GPA or AGPA for admission and this may involve a different formula for calculation. Please see the applicant bulletin for your target faculty for more information on AGPAs. You are invited to contact the University One Student Help Centre if you have any questions or would like further explanation or assistance in calculating your GPA. The University One Student Help Centre is located in 205 tier. You can also reach us by email at university underscore one at umanitoba.ca or by phone at 204-474-6209 or toll free in Manitoba at 1-800-432-1960, extension 6209. Thanks for joining me today. Be sure to check out University One's other podcasts by going to our homepage at www dot umanitoba dot ca slash u one.